So let's take a look at ways of just adjusting your screen a little bit for these bigger models and bigger scenes that you're making. So there's a couple of things that I want to go through that will help you when you're doing this kind of, of modeling in Nomad. This is version 1.39. And as you probably know, if you're already using Nomad, um, the developer is uh, a wizard at getting these updates out. So he's getting an update out every week at the moment. So uh, by the time you watch this, it'll probably be even higher than this. It'll be 1.4 or something. But let's have a look at the things you can do to maximize your screen. So first of all, simply tap on the screen with four fingers and you get that. You get an instant full screen effect. So as you're building your scenes and you're working on your composition, or you just want to see what you're making or even sculpt on what you're making, four finger tap gives you a really good way of uh, just working on a really big blank screen. So let's have a look at the button on the top right and we'll do this button here, close panel on interaction. I'm going to turn that off. And why I like that is you can have now panels open when you want them. And they'll stay open while you want the, 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 the work. So, so, for example, if I wanted to keep layers open while I'm working on them, it just stays open until I hit the button and close them. So that's when you want specific buttons open or specific panels for a specific job. And it's good to, to know it's there because you're going to turn it on and off quite a lot. So I keep it off or, or should I say on when I want this clean screen effect. And then when I'm doing something specifically, then I'll switch it back on. So just bear in mind, you get that from the top menu. You can get it in the settings as well. And the, the one that really matters for this quick tip is this. So if you go into your settings, scroll down. So you're basically here, you're on interface. I did say settings, but I didn't mean that. So you're on interface and you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then you've got this here. So you've got overall scale, panel width, font scale, and vertical spacing. So this is what you want to play with. So your overall scale, bring it right down. Your panel width, shut it right down. And your font scale, bring that down. And your vertical, all the way down. And that gives you a really, really... In fact, in fact if I go back and put that closed panel on interaction again... Now, even if you do have your panels open, you've got a, a lot less intrusive um, panel. Now, it's obviously, you will sometimes want them open, so it's good to know you can have much more screen space on a normal iPad if you just do those few settings. And that will change the way you work straight away because it's giving you a lot more area to, a lot more screen real estate to, 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 to play with. And then, Obviously, as I started this video, you can just do switch the close panel on interaction back on and you've got it on and off as as you're working, whichever way you prefer. But knowing that all of them are there just makes your experience on the iPad that little bit easier. If you're enjoying these videos, please give it a thumbs up. It does help us to show our work to other artists in the future. And if you do like what we're doing, then please subscribe. We've got videos coming out every Wednesday and every Friday. And if you hit the notification bell, we can let you know when we're getting the next ones out. Have a great week, everybody.